Hi, welcome to Bar Cart Bookshelf, a video series about books and the drinks they inspire. My name is Elias, and today we're looking at Light from Uncommon Stars by Rika Aoki. Light from Uncommon Stars is a story of three Asian American women in Southern California. Katrina Wen, a young violinist and runaway, her teacher, Shizuka Satomi, who's charged with condemning the souls of seven brilliant violinists to hell in order to save her own, and Lan Tran, a starship captain, interstellar refugee, and currently the owner-operator of a small donut shop that she runs with her aunt and four children. It's a deeply heartfelt and emotional novel, uh, incredibly hopeful, uh, and it was just truly a delight to read. I read it in about a day. I <laughs> couldn't put it down, uh, which is always a fun thing to find in a book. And I really appreciated Aoki's exploration of identity, of the struggle to find identity in a world that doesn't always welcome that um, finding identity through art through uh, the community that you're able to find, not necessarily the one that you are born into. And through all of that, there is a, a wonderful focus on music, on the violin, on the power of music to create community, and um, the power of music to um, draw people to greatness and to their, their best selves but also uh, a really wonderful through line is the exploration of food. Of food as identity, um, as uh, home, and so there are wonderfully lush descriptions of meals from a variety of ethnic cuisines throughout the San Gabriel Valley um, that Aoki really brings to life, and of course the uh, mouth-watering descriptions of the donuts in the, the Stargate, the uh, name of the donut shop that Lantron and her family operate. And so when you have such a sensual and rich approach to food, uh, I really can't resist wanting to make a drink based on this sort of book. It's uh, you know perfect for people who care about culture, uh, and who care about food and beverage. So um, I really wanted to pay tribute to that today. Our drink, why don't we get into that, is a mocktail, uh, the Stargate Mimosa. Uh, the donut shop is open 24 hours a day, but for me, I always feel like donuts are a, a breakfast food. And so having a non-alcoholic riff on this classic brunch cocktail is uh, a nice way to sort of celebrate that time of day, as well as the flavors that appear uh, throughout the course of the novel. Um, so why don't we get started? I've got uh, tangerines here. Shizuka's neighbor um, has a tangerine tree in one of the sort of recurring um, moments through the novel is this neighbor bringing uh, bags and bags of tangerines over. So they always have fresh tangerines and fresh tangerine jelly uh, and marmalade and things like that. And it's a wonderful base for our non-alcoholic mimosa, the, the Stargate. And you'll want uh, the juice of, of one tangerine. Certainly you can scale this up um, and make a, a whole pitcher. Uh, it's one that's going to work really well for having people over for brunch or going to a, a picnic. Um, but we're going to start with just those tangerines. And of course, if you can't find tangerines, then uh, you can use oranges instead. Um, the important thing is going to be that it is fresh citrus. Excellent. So we've got that in there. And we'll Again, because this is uh, slightly less formal than some of our other cocktails, uh, the precise measurement, getting a full 
you know, two or three ounces of juice is nice, but uh, you really do want to sort of make this one to taste. You can uh, add more of the citrus juice if you'd like, or you can keep it a little bit lighter. So we've got that in there. We'll add that to our jigger. And then we're going to get half an ounce of uh, ginger syrup in there. I really enjoyed when Lan and uh, Shizuka go to have meals together. There's frequently this accompaniment of pickled ginger. Ginger is one of my favorite flavors uh, year round and especially here in the fall. So we're going to get a half an ounce of that down in there. It's going to add some brightness, it's going to add some zing, and it's really going to complement that fresh citrus juice well. Uh, next, we've got a bottle of bitters here. This is the Yuzu Bitters from Miracle Mile, uh, a small bitters producer out in Southern California, based in LA. Uh, these are going to bring some depth of flavor to the citrus. It's made with citrus peel, this Yuzu that's sort of um, like a lemon, sort of like an orange. Really nice citrusy flavors, a bit of green tea in there as well. So it's really just going to uh, add a greater depth of flavor to our mocktail. And we're going to want to get two, three, four, about four dashes in there. Of course, with bitters, it's easy to add more, hard to add less. So if when you're tasting your completed mocktail, you feel you want a little bit more in there, then you can always add another dash or two. And we're going to give that a stir just to incorporate those ingredients. And then finally, uh, it's not a mimosa without a bit of bubbles. We've got a sparkling cider here, nice for fall, bringing haha, a bit of brightness, uh, that fresh zing, and of course, those really uh, wonderful effervescent bubbles. And you're gonna wanna pour that slowly because the sugar from the uh, tangerine juice and from the ginger syrup is going to create more bubbles. And there you go. Got all of our ingredients in there. It is smelling really wonderful, citrusy and uh, the fiery ginger heat, that Pratt standard uh, ginger syrup that we love so much here on the channel, um, the, the fresh apple from the cider. And then finally, we're going to garnish that. I've got an orange twist here, twist of the orange peel. You'll see I have that on a chopstick. That's a great way to make sure that you keep that sort of twisted helix shape um, to your orange peel. And you'll just sort of get that down in there on the side. There you go. That's our Stargate Mimosa, a bright mocktail in honor of Light from Uncommon Stars. The book is available now. I highly encourage you to check it out. Try the drink. Let me know what you think. As always, please remember to like and subscribe. There is a written version of the recipe linked down below. And until next time, cheers.